Hey, James, thanks for jumping on with me today. Hey, Jerome, no problem, man. So uh, I got a call from uh, my line lead today. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get into the plant, but uh, I'm logged into our tool remotely. Uh, he's telling me that we've got a QXX tool on a QCS controller. Um, our target is 25 inch pounds, but we seem to be having some failures in our product. So I was hoping you could take a look at it with us and see if we can get something worked out today. Okay, sure, no problem. So I'm logged into the controller here and I'll get it up on my screen share. So uh, can you see that screen all right? I can, yes sir. Perfect. So Kevin, if you can get Mike, uh, we've got our operator on standby here. If you can get him to do a few rundowns so we can take a look at the traces and, and let James see what we're seeing. So James, as you can see, we'll have one or two that has, but majority of them seem to be failing, and we're we're stretching for ideas here on what could be causing it. Yeah, and they're not failing a little bit either. We're overshooting big time. They are. Okay. Um, so yeah, usually, usually, typically, what we run into here is, uh, I mean, anytime you have an overshoot situation, a couple of things are going on. Um, a lot of times, it's speed. Uh, so, so we'll look, we'll go into the P set. So in your menu in the upper left hand corner. Okay. And then we'll go into the P set and it looks like we're running the P set that coordinates with 25 there. So, yep. So yes, sir. P set number five, you can edit that one. And when we get in there, there there's a couple of things we want to look at. The first thing we want to look at is the actual speed that we're running. Uh, when we pull the trigger and then you know the, the speed that we're, we're finishing our, our run down at So in that drop down under speed We see free speed. So we're starting uh, Basically starting at the max rpms of this tool uh, We're really not shifting down much at all. The looks like 600 rpms is our is our uh, final uh, Speed of the tool as, as we hit our shift down point there so let's uh, let's lower that down to about a, a hundred RPMs to 150 RPM somewhere between there. Okay. All right. So so basically, what that's going to do is allow us to uh, close in on our target at a little slower speed. Uh, still gives you that that uh, fast rundown that you need, but then it allows you to get closer to your target for better accuracy. So then uh, okay. what that corresponds with is that uh, downshift threshold there that's set at 20. So that's at yeah. 20 inch pounds. We're going to slow down. So okay. so really what we want to do there is uh, this is a pretty hard joint. So we, we want to actually, uh, it looks like, I mean, from the graph that I saw on the screen there, uh, we're, we're well under 10 inch pounds when we, when we start seating that uh, fastener. So let's, uh, let's change that down to like five or six inch pounds. Well, dude. And this will change the uh, piece set on the fly on the tool, correct? It will. Yeah. Every change that you make here, uh, you can you can make changes during production. You don't have to reboot the controller or anything, and you should be able to to actually make those changes on the fly. Great. And I just hit the save button up the floppy disk in the top right corner here. Save button upper right hand corner, and it'll ask you, do you want to save that? Oh, it actually comes back and gives you a successful. Yep, there we go. So then you should Perfect. be able to click on the logo in the in the upper middle part of the screen there. Get you back okay. to your home screen. Close out the All menu. Right, we'll let's see what we get. Kevin, if you could have Mike run a few more rundowns and we'll see if uh what we get. We seem to be getting consistent green passes now. Yeah, those are looking much better. Well within our, our window of uh, tolerance. Exactly. There we go. Good deal. Kevin, what do you and Mike think on your end? Hey, that's perfect. We're back up and running. Good deal. Can't get any better than that, James. I thank you for your time today. Yes, sir. Let me know if you need anything else.